Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. Welcome to Chateau du Wangenburg. Chateau du Wangenburg was owned by the Lords of Wange, who extensively remodeled the castle in the 16th century, and they added, for example, a sauna. Let's hope they kept it warm for us. No warm sauna, sadly, but we do get warm seeing great castle ruins, so it pays off in the end. The castle of Wangenburg is located on a rocky promontory southeast of the village with the same name. This impressive fortress was built around the end of the 13th century when the practice of using embossed stones became the norm in the region. It was erected by the lords of Wangen under the overlordship of the powerful abbey of Andlau. We immediately cross the large dry moat and enter this magnificent ruin. Around the beginning of the 16th century the old castle had become dilapidated, so the Lords of Wangen began a huge restoration project. Most of the buildings inside the enclosure date from that time, including the sauna or steam room. Probably the most impressive building would be the Renaissance dwelling known as the home of Georges de Wangen. It was fitted with a beautiful fireplace bearing the coats of arms of the Lords of Wangen and we can see the remains of ovens and the kitchen. Its courtyard facade is flanked by the remains of a staircase tower. In the 17th century, during the reign of Louis XIV, the French army was stationed in the castle. A new access ramp was built in the ditch. However, they did a lot more bad than good to the castle, because when they left they dismantled the northern chapel tower and many of the walls. In the building known as the House of Hartmann de Wangen, we see a huge gap in the wall, shaped like a window or a door. It is, however, neither of those. What we see is the result of a restoration of a breach.
The castle ruin of Wangenburg is absolutely impressive these days with the many details and gothic windows still visible in the walls. Its most impressive feature has to be the 14th century keep, however. It replaced an older keep, of which the foundations are still visible too. The keep is 24 meters high, has beautiful cross-shaped arrow slits and amazing views over the valley. See for yourself. Arbitrary subjective castle score time. I'm gonna say a nine. Um, really cool, but I know it can be cooler. Uh, yeah, what do you think? I think a 10. A 10? It's really cool, even though Dries says it can be cooler. There are some very, very neat details. The surroundings are beautiful, and I think some lesser known castles also deserve a 10. That's true. Please leave your score in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And otherwise, like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles. See you next time. Bye. Bye.